Have you been looking for a plugin that helps you hide Gutenberg blocks throughout your website? Maybe you want to hide sale information for when the sale actually starts and ends. Maybe you want to show certain advertisements to certain uh, browsers or certain phone devices. Maybe you want to conditionally hide certain user information when they're logged in versus logged out of a WordPress website. The Block Visibility plugin by Nick Diego is fantastic. And that's the plugin we're going to take a look at today. We've interviewed him on the WP Minute before. I'll link that conversation uh, in the description below. This is not a sponsored video. I just started using it on the WP Minute for our classified section. And I started using it. I was like, wow, I can't believe that this is a free plugin. Um, I don't know when a pro plugin is ever going to come. I can imagine it being more into the e-commerce side of things when that starts. But wow, this is a fantastic free solution for block visibility. And you can target individual blocks. So you might be using a page builder that has some conditional logic uh, functionality. Maybe you're using a Gutenberg theme like a Cadence or Generate Press, and that has some conditional logic. But the way that this plugin is made and how you interact with it uh, and some of the quality of life uh, assets in this plugin. It's just phenomenal. Uh, we're going to dive right into showing you the key features of this plugin. I hope you like it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, as I mentioned at the top of this video, there's a lot inside of this plugin. I can't cover absolutely everything. I'm going to show you the high points that I think are going to be most compelling to you. And then you can dive into this plugin. After all, it's free and there's so much here. Okay, I have Cadence theme with Cadence blocks installed. And the first thing I want to talk about is how maybe most modern themes and page builder plugins have some form of this conditional log logic of block visibility. But the block visibility plugin takes it a step further in terms of like quality of product uh, components that you can set up conditionally and how we all use this in our day-to-day -day, day -day WordPress lives. And also it targets the absolute single block. So you could do this with a line of text or entire sections of your WordPress website. Let me show you an example looking at Cadence Blocks. So with Cadence Blocks, if I click on this uh, heading tag, which is the advanced text tag tab, and I go to advanced, you can see that there is no default cadence visibility. If I go out to the overall section and I go to the advanced tab in cadence blocks, you can see that there's a visibility settings here and it's pretty rudimentary. It's hide on desktop, hide on tablet, hide on mobile. And that's great for when you're building layouts of sites and you don't want these things to appear. But you can't really do anything from a conditional logic standpoint, if it's a sale or an event or some kind of dynamic conditional logic. So that's where the block visibility plugin comes in. I can pinpoint this uh, block, the single headline block, go to advanced, and you'll see the plugin here, visibility. And we can add visibility conditions or controls as they're called in a multitude of ways. I'm not going to go through each one of them for you, but show you some of the key points. So browser device, cookie, date and time, hide block uh, conditionally. You want to hide the block entirely. Location, metadata, query string, referral source, screen size, URL path, user role. And I'm going to save this one for last visibility presets. So the way that I use this plugin is for the classified listings page on the WP Minute. You can sponsor your product or service or event, uh, go self-sign up, buy a, a classified listing ad, and the conditional logic is to show it between the time that you purchased it uh, to the time that it ends, right? So date and time might be something that you want to add conditionally for this headline, let's say. Let's say it's a sale that's happening. Save 30% through Black Friday sale. Um, you can start the visibility on, let's say, October 12th, and then bring it all the way to, let's say, November 30th. And if you are running that as a scheduled sale, you can do that. Uh, and that's super easy and super clean to do. <clears throat> and also, again, you can do this across all different blocks uh, and pinpoint what you're looking for. You can add more time uh, schedules to that if you'd like. And you can turn them into by the hour and minute uh, or by just the calendar days and start, start, start to set up a pattern of Monday through Friday or weekend only kind of uh, interval. 
very powerful just from the date and time uh, situation. Now, also you can target things like browser and device, and you can combo this. As you can see here, I've checked off both date and time and a browser uh, and device, and then I can select these rules uh, of platform, is selected and then I can say, is this only on iOS, right? So if you're an iOS app developer, right? And you have people coming in and you say, hey, this is Black Friday sale for 20% off. But if they're coming in as an Android user, well, maybe you can boost the ante and said, hey, if you were an iOS user for this week only, we're offering 40% off those who are switching from Android to iOS, right? That might be a stretch, but those are the types of combinations that you can make, uh, which I think are really, really powerful. Let's talk about these visibility presets. Uh, there's a few ways of accessing it. You can go and add uh, your visibility preset here. But again, speaking towards the nature of this product and how well it's thought out, I can actually open up the command palette and start to type in the word presets, see the manage visibility presets right here from the command palette. And I have this one that's already set up, which is called ads for November. So not only can I go in on a block per block basis, but from a 50,000 foot view, I can create these presets like we just created and save them in this nice little dashboard where everything is organized and tucked away, just like full site editing experience almost. Um, and I can organize my ad campaigns, my visibility campaigns. If it's weather warnings, I can kind of bring them in for, let's say, school systems uh, based on the time of day it is or the day that it is, weekend versus weekday. Um, the combination is, uh, is endless with this stuff, but it's well thought out. You would think that like presets would be a pro feature, save for a pro version of a plugin, which I feel like any other author would have done that. Um, so again, I, I can't speak highly enough of how well this is thought out and for free, uh, it's, it's pretty powerful. One of the other great things about uh, this plugin is if you're ever stuck and wondering, hey, what, what does this mean? Uh, Nick, the author of the plugin, has done a phenomenal job of leaving breadcrumbs of information through all of these points. So like, what is a control set? Each control set represents a group of visibility controls that form and conditions. All controls within a control set must be satisfied for the block to be visible. Multiple control sets allow you to create or conditions between each set. So is it this day or is it this web browser, right? That kind of thing. Again, phenomenal um, and very intuitive and easy to use. And I think a lot of authors could do well if they left this kind of helpful breadcrumb around this little information pop-up or bubble across their products because sometimes even I'm scratching my head um, when I'm using a product. I'm like, what, what does this feature mean? Like they're looking at it or thinking of it, thinking at of it or defining it in a way that they want uh, versus what you know we want as the end user. Okay, and the last area that I want to call your attention to is the block visibility settings page in the admin of your WordPress site. That's under settings block visibility. And you might think like what other settings could we have in here since everything has to do with the visibility of the blocks like what could we do from the server admin side of this plugin quite a lot actually um, so again talking about how well this plugin is made nick has implemented a few quality of life changes which i think are, are great like contextual indicators in other words let's color code the blocks that have visibility save, uh, settings saved to them. I can say, however, while I think that this is a really cool feature, I didn't see it actually working in Cadence theme. So I don't know if there was a little conflict there with Cadence, or maybe uh, there's a theme setting somewhere else, or maybe themes override the color coding of a block. Um, so you might want to test this out on your own. I think it's a fantastic feature. I personally didn't see it working on, in Cadence, but if it works on your theme, it's going to be a great way to indicate visually when you're looking at blocks in the block list, which themes have uh, the conditional logic applied to it. You can reduce the block opacity when the visibility controls are applied. So if it's set to appear or has been set to disappear, uh, the opacity would change. Toolbar controls, help notices and pop-ups, utilities, like you can even shut off the help notices and pop-overs, um, which is, which is mind-boggling. You can set up user permissions uh, if you want full control mode and then uninstall all of the data if you're removing the plugin. 
So again, very well thought out. Going into visibility control, you can actually set what which visibility controls are set by default. So imagine passing this kind of control over to your customer. Say, hey, customer, when you are setting up your sales dates and you want to uh, have your headline show during your in-store sales, we'll give you access to this button that you click that you can set the date range in, but you certainly don't want them messing around with things like cookie settings or uh, screen sizes or browser and, and OS types because it's too, just too confusing for them. You can limit the access that you give them in the visibility controls or actually disable them right here on this screen. Like if you don't want that to happen across the site, like you don't want to set a conditional for cookies uh, because your customers aren't going to know that or it could be too damaging to the site's usability uncheck this stuff and it'll remove it from, um, you know, the feature set of block visibility. And then lastly, block manager, you can actually apply uh, where block visibility will show up. So if you don't want it showing up on Cadence blocks or whatever theme you're using or certain Gutenberg blocks that you use, you can also pinpoint that here. Um, fantastic plugin. I think that this is something that is useful for any web developer in the WordPress space to be using um, for their own development of a WordPress site or handing it to their customers. All right, that's it for block visibility. Let me know what you think in the comments. What features would you like to see added to Nick's plugin? If you haven't tried it yet, it's available for free on wordpress.org. Just search for block visibility in your WordPress site and add it. There is no real hard setup or anything like that. It just adds right into your uh, Gutenberg block tray and you can start conditionally setting up your Gutenberg blocks. I think it's fantastic. I use it on the WP Minute. Speaking of the WP Minute, don't forget to click thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you want more and go to the wpminute.com slash subscribe. Follow our podcast. Join our newsletter. It's your favorite five minutes of WordPress every week.